This training film covers editing bookings. You can make changes to a booking within the grid view. To change the number of covers, click the cover number on the reservation and use the arrows to add or remove covers. It's important to note that this will allow you to override the table capacity. To change the time or table of a booking, you can simply drag the booking to the desired table and time slot. And you can change the duration of a booking by hovering over the tail until the arrow shows and dragging to the desired length. However, making changes in this way won't utilize the diary's optimization tools and is better used for on-the-fly adjustments during service. Clicking on the reservation will open what we call the Spider Menu. The three windows give an overview of the booking information and some key tools to edit the booking. The options on the left allow you to track the progress of the booking, most importantly, letting you seat customers and close tables within the system. With an integrated POS, these status updates can be managed automatically. The bottom right window shows customer details on the left and booking details on the right, including any booking or customer comments, payments or promotions attached to the booking. The buttons at the bottom let you view customer details, booking history, booking details and resend the booking confirmation. The top window features several crucial tools, making a printable version of the booking info, confirm or unconfirm the booking, lock the booking to that table, cancel the booking, create a repeat booking, view any reviews made by the customer and finally open the booking tool where changes to the booking can be made. To cancel a booking, click the reservation and the cancel button. This will open a pop-up where you'll be able to select from a customizable list of cancellation reasons. A cancellation email will automatically be sent to the customer to notify them. If you store card details, you may wish to charge a customer's card for a late cancellation or no-show. To do this, find the booking within the cancellation list and click Receipt, opening the booking tool. Here you can access the payment options and charge the card. Click Exit to close the booking tool without reseating the booking. Customers can modify bookings via a link in their confirmation and reminder emails and you can set the time frame in which they are allowed to do so. The grid view is covered in further detail in its own film. Other films will cover making and editing a booking, advanced diary features and how to get started with the diary.